started the broadcast and the channel is live. Hello everyone and welcome to Adventure on So Many Levels. We're going to play some Dungeons and Dragons. Yay! Dungeons and Dragons? <laughs> uh, our intent was to uh, continue slash complete question mark our Blades in the Dark arc that we've been undertaking on the main campaign. However, we are once again down a player this week, but down a different player. Uh, we, we do not have Jenny tonight, uh, but uh, we will eventually get back to that campaign. But in the meantime, another D&D uh, &D one shot set in our same world. Our players tonight, Starla Hutchton playing Valen. Valen? I'm so excited to be here. One of those. Can you re refresh us? Balan. Balan, right. And Mark Kil Kilfoyle playing Vec. Nice to meet you all. All right. And Paul Fisher introducing a new character who is... Atwater Firebane. Very nice. So... This is, in some ways, a continuation of the one-shot from last week in the sense that we have two of three characters being carried over. Um, we imagine that uh, Atwater is also a member of your group who is just perhaps uh, busy that day. But uh, you, you, uh, you know, we're all able to kind of take a week to just kind of kick around and not worry about money too much because you accepted a very nice bonus for not saying anything about shady stuff um, after your investigation last time. And uh, so now you've been just kind of hanging out, waiting for, you know, the next job. And it turns out, Valen, that you have been summoned to the Druid's Grove here in Villanocta. Uh, Arch Druid Evergreen is still kind of ostensibly in charge, but increasingly spends his time in other planes lately. And so you are reporting, reporting to the person who you most frequently report to, who is a very old man by the name of Barry. <laughs> and so uh, he has told you... Uh, you know, you got just a quick message uh, saying, um, uh, hey, Valen, if you could just come on over and, like, bring a couple of your friends, like, got a little thing you could look into, throw a little work your way, if that's cool. That's so awesome. <laughs> and uh, so... Uh, you, if you, you, do you bring everyone with you to the Druid Grove, or do you just kind of... Oh, uh, yes, of course, yeah. because I want them to see all of the beautiful plants that are there. They're amazing. It's just full of color and life. And, oh, my gosh, it's just great. So here in Villa Nocta, the Druid Grove is kind of a neighborhood. It's almost like you, it's, you know, it's a little, it's a little Central Park-esque, except that it has all manner of different uh, magical creatures and flora and fauna that are uh, sort of preserved here in such a way as to allow the druids to care for and study them um, and to maintain a natural presence even here within this big city. Uh, but uh, you have been, uh, you know, you you make your way through the paths to, you know, one of the like, little central sanctuaries there where uh, Barry is, is there. And this, he's... Uh, I, I had to, I didn't look it up. I'm, I think he was human. So he's just, he's very old. <laughs> he is, uh, uh, you know, he's still got a sparkle in his eye, but he is a little bag of bones and, uh, has great big beard. And he definitely starts making a fuss. Like he's going to get out of his chair to get every, give everybody a hug when you show up. No, 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 no. Sit down, sit down. Oh, and yeah. make sure he sits in his seat and give him a, a, a very sweet little kiss on the cheek. It's so oh, nice it's to a, see you again. Oh, it's so lovely to see you as always, Valen. And who, who are your friends? I'm Trying Atwater. to remember. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Atwater, nice to meet you. Holds out a hand to shake. Nice to meet you, too. 
my name's Vic. Very nice to meet you, sir. Esteemed cool. gentleman of age. Cool, cool. You, got, you two have kind of got like a like a fire and water thing going on. And then with this one, you know, you've got all the elements covered. You just need air or something. I've been recruiting, but it's a bit hard. They tend to flake, you know, go in the breeze and all. You know, well, maybe... our other friend is an Aarakocra, but um, they're unavailable today, so here we are. Well, you know, I think you'll have to get by with uh, your elements out of balance then, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Never bothered and, me too much. Well, anyway, so got a little job for you. I don't think it's probably too serious, but... One of the little parks that's not technically supposed to be under the Druid Grove protection, but, you know, people still call us, right? Because it's confusing the way that the city council says, oh, no, Druid Grove, we don't run this park. You're not in charge of it. But still, we're not going to make it clear to the populace that they should call us instead of you whenever there's a problem there. So... We kind of run it anyway, even though we're not supposed to be running it or whatever. You know how it is. Nothing like being respected for your long service and being thought of as the experts. You know, that is a really far out way of looking at it. You're welcome. I like that. Wisdom. That's what that is. Anyway, in that spirit then... What uh, we've got reports of is uh, one of the little, one of those little block parks that they've got, you know, just the little one set up between uh, two rows of houses right up by the wall in the north. They're getting reports of tremors under the ground, and uh, that's geographically, geologically a very stable area, and so there really shouldn't be any tremors there, so... Uh, we thought we'd send uh, someone who has a little natural knowledge who can maybe try to suss out what's causing those tremors. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, just in case it's something nasty, uh, you know, having a, a few friends who can, uh, you know, watch your back seems like a, a good plan. So is that something uh, I could count on you three for? Oh, absolutely. Awesome. Yes, definitely. Awesome. Yeah. Far out. on a three four that's a funny way of putting it oh uh, yeah totally that's awesome <laughs> i didn't even realize i did that one you are most am amusing chap i rather like you so um did i tell you where it was uh you Not said up north by the wall but right, the name yeah. would be nice yes Oh yeah, it's uh, it, it's the um, oh, it's the little one with the pond. Monticello. Maybe. You know, it's, does that one have a pond? Is yeah. it okay? Okay, there. Yeah, sure. Then that maybe is it. That's it. I can't remember. Um, it's it's one of those. You'll find it, I'm sure. So anyway, um, I guess just check it out and like, if you can figure out what it is, you know, if it seems like something is just easy to just take care of yourself, then, you know, you have our, uh, uh, our blessing for that. Right. So, you know, you do you, uh, but, uh, you know, like if it seems like more serious and you need backup and definitely, you know, like give us a call. You know, I think we are well suited to take on this task, so but I have to I have to mention something of base concern. You see, we are working individuals, and a job like this will take time and effort away from potentially other things we might do. Would there be some sort of compensation for this? Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. Like uh like uh I don't know, like well, how about this? Uh you know what, like, I got scolded last time. I just made numbers up for this sort of thing. So if you talk to, uh, there's a, 
there's a little kobold hangs out down there by the fountain. He'll he'll tell you how much, but I'm sure it'll be fair. But they did like make a really frowny face at me the last time I just made numbers up. Yeah, they what? do that. They get so grouchy. Well, you know, like I tried to explain to them that like, you know, finances and like capitalism isn't just like it's out of balance it's just an inherently unbalanced system they should really kind of go for some sort of like a natural equilibrium instead of like the artificial you know uh like they call it like a you know, okay i i you know i i can see valens nodding which means i've told this story before so uh how about this does it make it any less true it's true uh, but yeah, so like, how about this? Gary, the kobold will hook you up with like any, you know, like, obviously, you know, you still live out there in the city. You gotta have gold for that. I get it. So they'll take care of that. But you come back there with a solved problem. Maybe I hook you up with a little, my own special stash. What do you say? Yes. That's a very yes, generous one. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. All right. Okay. He only has the All good right. stuff, guys. I like good stuff. And he kind of just gets a little smile and he's just kind of staring. Well, it was lovely to see you again, and we will go take care of that problem. Oh, yeah, cool. Yeah, very cool. Uh, yeah, so, you know, let, let us know if you need any help. You know, we're, we're, we're good. You know, I have a mind to come out and join you myself. <laughs> oh, no, this is Stufford. You've been there and done that. This is old hat. We should take this on. All right, then. Well, if you've got it covered. <laughs> <laughs> I will... Heard away my companions and skip and toss them a little kiss. <laughs> Bye. All right. And uh, and so you presumably head over to uh, Gary the Cobalt, mm -hmm. who has, yep. uh, he's, uh, he is in the nerdiest druid armor you could imagine. Like it is, it is sort of like the, wood and leather and plant version of like the accountant get up like you got like the the he it's he's the green visor but it's grass and he just you know he's he's got a pencil tucked behind his little ear but it's like it looks like a flowering branch on the other end you know the whole thing and so he he looks at you and just as he sees you approaching from barry he just gets this nervous look on his face hi gary hi Don't worry, he didn't make up any numbers this time oh good uh yeah so that's great um what does he have you doing and he's, he's flipping through a notebook uh park in the north with the pond oh yes uh thistle Trimmers. thistleberry park thistleberry yeah, yeah. Uh, they had the tremors there. Yeah, so you're you're gonna check it out. We That's are right. okay. Uh, well, our you know our standard rates. Oh wait, hang on. He grabs like he's got these books that have uh bindings that look like bark, but it's clearly just like a ledger book. And he opens his lap. Okay. Let, oh yeah, we've got the new rates in. Um, so let's see. Looks like uh. There is uh, 20 gold for the group just for going down there and doing the assessment and providing a report. If you do identify the source of the tremors and resolve it, there is an additional 40 gold in it for you. Um, if you do need to uh, uh, report a, a greater danger, there is a, uh, you know, a notification bonus of 15 gold. Uh, and of course, if you are uh, assisting with whatever that is, then we would uh, determine, you know, further remuneration at that point. Does that sound adequate? Absolutely. 
and okay to me. fantastic. And uh, this is not uh, officially part of our protocol or anything, but I will just uh, give you the heads up that uh, if he promised you his special stash, which I'm sure he did, uh, that you should uh, not uh, smoke that in uh, public outside the Druid Grove. <laughs> Where else would we use it? <laughs> Well, I mean, I would hope. I just, you know, I, you know, we have, uh, uh, you know, there's, despite what many of our, our, our leaders, they don't like to think about these things, but there's words like liability and zoning and these things matter if we want to continue to operate in our me preferred method here in the city of Seville and Octa. So, um, in any case, I think, um, you know, I, I technically can offer half of your fee up front if you feel like you need it, uh, but uh, we, we are going to need um, you, you to submit your report for the other half. I don't think we'll need any money on hand. If we do, we'll certainly let you know. All right. We'll have an itemized bill and everything. Yep. Well, so very professional. In triplicate. Um. That's all very professional, provided, of course, you actually do that. I, I, I don't mean to not uh, trust you on this, only just that sometimes people say they're going to do that, and they mean to do it, like they're not lying. It's just that it doesn't actually happen, and I have to chase them down, and then there's invoices. and. Listen, friend, I know it can be a very dangerous world out there. I've met all sorts of terrible people. And if there's one thing I'm determined to be in this world, it's not one of those terrible people. So I can understand your trepidation, but do not worry. We'll have this in hand. F fair enough. Although, like, just to be clear, what I'm talking about is not so much terrible people as inconvenient people. Uh, forgetful people. about me. The problem is me. I'm it. I'm the problem. I, well, I, I would never. I it's mean, it's okay. Yeah. I admit it. I maybe forgot to submit those forms because you know, I just there were some really pretty flowers, and then the sun went down, and you know, it's just a lot of stuff. So, uh -huh. I'm sorry. There's a reason we to work in teams to complement each other. You know, when they say one of the best kinds of apologies is changed behavior. So let's uh, let's see that report this time. All Will right, do. great. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, I, I I assume you are heading promptly over to Thistleberry Park. That's Skipping right. it as fast as my little feet will take me. <laughs> all right. Uh, so. You, uh, you make your way to this park, and I've already got kind of a, a map set up. And as mentioned, this is a small park. There is, it, it is uh, the north end of this map butts up against the wall of the city. So it is like right on the border. Uh, you haven't moved us to that map. Just oh, to... yes, thank you. Uh, da, 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 da. I thought it was just me. I, know. <laughs> I was like, am I the wrong there name? <laughs> So, yes, the path you're entering in the south is the entrance. On the left and right sides of the map are basically, like, tenement buildings. Um, and then the the north wall, you know, like, is the wall of the city. So we're, you know, this is just a little pocket park. Um, and uh, you notice that someone has put up, like, a, a minor illusion of a a warning sign uh that says danger that's like by the entrance and it's like it's just an illusion it's and it's very obviously an illusion so there's nothing like there's no physical barrier but someone has left a little illusion that just says warning park not safe under investigation well that's never a good sign is it well we're the investigation right yes. Are there any little animals hanging about? Squirrels or birds? Mm -hmm. or... I, I think that that is very likely, or at least there normally would be. Perhaps you should make a survival check to look for animals. Or if you want to pitch me on some other skill, we could talk about it. That will work. 18. 18 is pretty good. Yeah, so 
the first thing you notice is that there are fewer animals around than there normally would be. Um, it's got a little bit of that quiet, too quiet quality to it. Um, so you would normally expect there to be things like squirrels and birds and insects around here, but there's a little bit of a hush like the animals that are here are hiding. But I think you do, uh, in sort of the small hollow underneath one of the trees here in the, uh, the southeast corner, you do see, for just a moment, the little face of a, of a, of a chipmunk poking out, uh, looking around and briefly seeing you and then ducking back into the uh, hole. Well, I would like to cast Speak with Animals. All right. <laughs> Uh, we'll cast the spell mm -hmm. and maybe kind of like get down on my knees kind of yeah. not not like just like sitting on my knees like mm -hmm. hello there i won't hurt you i promise go away go away um what are you doing don't well, come over here well we sort of have to we're investigating this place and um trying to figure out what what's happening here so that maybe we can stop it there's something under the ground you're gonna bring it right to me okay um if if i if i back up will you come and talk to me oh gosh and, and like turning and uh, as as you're kind of down on your knees looking in there you can see that there's a little like a horde of nuts in there and they look at it like worriedly um well i i, I don't know maybe maybe just for a second okay that's all we need we're just trying to figure out what's going on uh so like uh you stand over there and just points to like you know like the, the tree stump, just, you know, a few feet of the way. Uh, like over... Like this tree stump, a few feet away from the tree. Yeah. Like here? That one? Okay. You do not see me pinging in the southeast no, of the... Um, no? None of you see that? Why not? <laughs> this tree stump? Yes. Why, but okay. why don't you see me pinging, though? No, Do you no, see my ping? I just saw a ping just now. Yeah, why? Why are that's, you doing that's that? That's me. There's mine. Yep. Uh, that's what? Roll twenty. Why are you being dumb? <laughs> okay, like, gosh, <laughs> players don't need to see the GM <laughs> ping or anything. Um, all right. Anyway, so yes, that tree stump, the one that I was pinging at, that apparently you all can't see for some reason. Anyway, uh, yeah. So. It's like, okay, you just sit there and don't come closer. Um, uh, and uh, we, we have to talk in whispers. Okay. And um, while you're there, he s starts whispering, and uh, I need you to make a perception check to see if you can make it out. <laughs> Okay. Funny, not natural. Yeah. So <laughs> your keen ears allow you to make out the harsh whispers like, okay, here's the deal. There is something scary burning around under the ground. And it hasn't broken the surface yet, but it's only a matter of time. I can feel it under there. And you know, I live at the ground. I'm attuned to these things. Whatever it is, it's a lot bigger than me. It's bigger than you. And it shouldn't be here. It feels wrong. It's digging weird. Digging weird how? I'm trying to think how to describe this in a way that you would understand, because get the feeling and please take no offense i get the feeling you don't do a lot of digging well sometimes i do do you really yeah when oh i i, I love i love digging in the ground it's just and, and planting things oh okay okay what well, okay Wait. i i hear you that's definitely a kind of digging i'm talking more like burrowing mm. 
it's different. It's like digging a hole that you're not like going into. It's like, mm. it's, it's different. You know, you're a light person. I understand yeah. you, it's, like you don't, it's, it's been like, a while. It's not. So the point is <laughs> like if you're out walking around and, uh, you saw someone walking around where they're like all hunched over and, and, uh, and, and moving in, in like creepy ways and like hiding behind every corner and like peeking around little corners and, 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 and like just acting like weird. Right. It's like that. It's like, it's digging, but it's like, it's digging weird. I think I understand. And it's big and scary else? and I don't want it to come over here. I put a lot of work in, in my, my little house here. You know, it's like it's been renovated recently. Mm. And that we thing could, do... like, mess it all up. Yeah, we will do our best to keep your home intact. And if anything happens to it, I will personally fix it. Okay? Really? Really. Promise? Absolutely, I promise. Make a persuasion check. Seventeen. <laughs> okay, you know a lot of a lot of the the uh, you know uh, big people that come here don't like take time to talk to us, and that's fine because you know usually like what do we have to talk about? But you know today I just felt like there was sort of like common interest in like uh, you should know that there's a big scary thing, but like uh, yeah. So I, I I have to feel a little better, but that said, I'm gonna go back in my house now. So like. Uh, be careful, because it's, like I said, it's it's big and it's digging weird. Okay, you be careful too, all right? If things get weirder, you go and hide. Keep yourself safe. Oh, well, you know, I'm going to go ahead and do that before it gets weirder, if that's all right. That's a good plan. Great. Go team. And he runs back into the half tree. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So that seemed like a very exciting conversation. Yeah, I, I, I had a I lot do to want, say. I really hope this wasn't just about nuts or leaves again. Uh, well, I would like to ask for Starla to give us just a little flavor of what Vec and Atwater would have been hearing. <laughs> a lot of chirping. <laughs> That kind of yeah, kind of that yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. <clears throat> so, there is something very big, and very scary, and it is digging very weirdly under the ground, and it hasn't broken the surface yet, but I think it's only a matter of time. Well, that tracks something big enough to make the world shake a bit. Is a bit stressing to a small creature, or probably a bit stretch, a bit stressful for us as well. Well, my little friend said that he was even that this thing is even bigger than us, and it just feels very wrong. So I hate to put too much, you know, trust on the vocabulary of a small critter, but can we expand on wrong just a little bit? Okay, so have you ever been walking down the street <laughs> and you can just kind of like see somebody that just looks like they're up to no good? There's just something about like the way they walk or maybe they're, they're, they just look a little dodgy. All right. It's like that, only with digging. So something's being sneaky about it then? Kind of. Because you can just <laughs> tell they're up to no good. All right. Well, they you'll be able fit. to tell if we find something digging wrong, then. Well, I think the ground will probably start shaking. Oh, we should probably be quiet. Because my friend here was very concerned that noise would um, attract its attention. Well, that's perfect, then. Best prepare to make as much noise as possible. Away from your friend, maybe, but mm. somewhere open, somewhere we can maybe draw the problem to us might want to take okay. a look around see if there's any other signs of anything yes but... so let's be quiet as we investigate and then when we're ready 
Then we can bring on the noise, okay? Might want to talk to the neighbors too. See if there's any time of day this happens. Mm. Well, I'm really better with animals than I am with people. That's why I'm around, lass. That's why I'm around. I'm not so good with plants. They tend to, well, burn. <laughs> it's true. They do. I'm kind of partial to seaweed. It's a oh, plant. plants love you. Everywhere <laughs> you step, you leave a little bit behind for a plant to eat. Yep. So. Um, I'm thinking about going and checking out the water. Yeah. I'm kind of curious about this little uh, circle of mm -hmm. mushrooms or flowers. Not sure what they are. Yeah. Right, on three, three separate directions. We'll meet, meet back here in no longer than ten minutes. If anything should go wrong, yell very loudly, which will probably happen anyway, right? Yeah. Nothing like go a three-way split for a level three party. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't seem like the best. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, uh, this is just a little bit of narrator commentary. I think perhaps your character's maybe hear that a little voice in your head but i don't know if they listen to it <laughs> on second thought last time i left the two of you alone bad things happened <laughs> so, i mean i'll be here to feel supervise. free to do whatever you like i'm just saying that it mm. it it when you're if you're all in three different places it is quite possible something dangerous <laughs> might happen to one of you and the other two will not be nearby why don't we do it this way? Let's go in kind of logical order. Since the pond is all the way over there and kind of deep into the park, mm -hmm. maybe we'll do that one last. And um, while I really love this mushroom circle, it's so cute, um, maybe we'll start outside the park first. Um, you want to go like clockwise and check out those rocks and just move around the edge? Well, he wants to go talk to people that are outside here. I don't think and we since we're still right at that. the entrance. I mean, if we stomp on the ground, whatever it is is going to come to us, right? Well, yeah, but we want to find out a little bit more about it first, don't we? Uh, are we going to well, find out how, many, how hard it is to kill? I think the people so might be I able to tell us the time it, of day you know? <laughs> or might be able to tell us, you know, a little bit more. They have not seen it or they would have been more specific. I suspect your friend Barry would have been able to tell us at least a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So all I was hoping to think is maybe comes in waves, comes at night, but honestly, it's not that big of information. And we do have a way we might be able to make it come to us, so that's useful. Still, having a look around, maybe there's something here it wants. All right, well. So where are we going, boss? I kind of like what um, at what I was saying. Nice, simple, logical walk around. I know you're eager to get into into the pond, my friend, and we'll make sure that happens. And I too am kind of curious about that spot in the middle of the pond, so we'll make sure that happens too. All right. But I don't want to look at anything over before we get too far. Might be nothing. Um, let's start moving clockwise. Mm -hmm. So you're just kind of uh, moving through, just looking for signs of anything amiss or unusual? Yep. All right, well, how, much. how about... How... Hmm? Go ahead. Mostly on, on, on uh, Valen, because this nature stuff is kind of... Sure, sure. That's, that's their thing. Yeah, so I think either a nature or a perception or a survival roll, any of those might be okay. Tell me which one you're rolling. And then if you're, you know, you're helping each other so you can roll with advantage. Well, um, I'm best at survival, and mm -hmm. I think survival probably looking is for yeah. certainly an anything appropriate amiss. Skill. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. I get plus five. So. <laughs> Oh, natural. I got the dragon. <laughs> 24. Nice. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I think as you take a moment to look around the park here, you do see signs 
uh, of the ground being uneven in ways that uh, now that you look at it, don't seem like that's how the park was originally designed. You see like little mounds and furrows here and there. Um, you know, there's no obvious breaches, but you do definitely see indications that something has been tunneling under the ground. And whatever it is, the places where it's tunneled close enough to disturb the surface a little bit, um, you see areas where it looks like perhaps a, a tunnel that was, you know, several feet below the surface, but, you know, was a tunnel was burrowed and then collapsed again. Uh, you see evidence of like little mounds where it's been dug up, but whatever it is, is leaving, you know, a trail that's like, like six, seven feet across. Ooh, this thing's big, you guys. And I will kind of show them like, yeah, probably walk across a trench. Look, this is one, one tunnel. Mm -hmm. Well, and also you can see with a natural 20 evidence that it's it's like it is kind of going all over the place in this in this park but with as far as you can tell a very haphazard sort of pattern um and uh it, it occurs to you that as one of these little planned parks there's probably not like sewers under underneath this part in the same way that there are under the buildings right like there's no foundation underneath and so it may be that if it's not willing to go deep enough to be below all of the city infrastructure in the other blocks this is the only spot like this patch like it it can't it's almost like it's stuck so it's it's like looking all around like probing the perimeter but staying within it's it's a bit like it'll it'll come it'll be digging along until it gets to a wall and then it'll like turn at an angle and go off in another direction but it's kind of just going back and forth within this this park mm. Mm. could be a um, giant bowl something here is telling me like and i kind of like trace like where it goes like kind of mm -hmm. with my fingers like if if you look really closely it's almost like almost like something is trapped like it didn't maybe intend to be here I, once again because in natural 20 the thing that also kind of crosses your mind is that this is a little bit like what some wild animals will act like when they're sick like when they're mm. confused and they're not acting normally. Yeah, I've, I've seen kind of similar behavior when there there's been like little little outbreaks of little uh, like things like I don't know what the D and D equivalent of rabies is, but <laughs> yeah. D and D bees. It's, it's... <laughs> it's it's i think whatever it is it's not feeling well that's for sure great so it's some sort of sick animal then that's not any better big well, sick animal that can dig in the ground yeah and move lots of earth which means it's really strong has it ever broken through that you've seen uh, valen no um and that that tracks with what my my new friend there told me mm -hmm. um uh, so I'm going to have to ask this in advance because um, I, I know how some of our other capers have gone. And um, can we maybe try to refrain from, you know, outright just killing whatever this is? Because it might just need help. Well, that's never really worked for us in the past. But the past is not any di no dictator of the future. Let's put it this way. If it's called for, outrageous violence is what we'll bring. We've done that past. I'm sure we can do it again. But we will halt maybe for a second. Right, Alvora? Yes. If we could just render it immobile or unconscious, maybe it will be easier to handle. I mean, you're making it harder and harder to make any 
progress here, Balin. I, I know you hearts with all the animals, but I'd rather not your heart actually be in an animal. As in well, chewed me up by too, it. but... Well, I think... I would just like us to try. That's all can, I'm asking. We can try as long as we can get away. As long as you can intervene and let it know that we're not here to necessarily hurt it. But you said confused, trapped, and sick. Mm. Those are not good states to be starting a conversation. No. Mm -hmm. But how do we find mm. it? Short of digging up all this land with a shovel. So you can... It, the path kind of goes all over the place and mm -hmm. doesn't really seem to be a place where it stops. Um, if it responds just... to someone being on the surface, we do know one way we can bring it to us. It'll be dangerous because it will probably try to eat whoever's walking or making noise. So... Well, maybe we'll, we can just like continue to walk around a little bit and maybe something else will jump out at us. Are these... Hopefully That's not exactly literally. the problem, though. <laughs> Are these rocks over here in the south? Uh, it is a broken, knocked over statue, but it's been that way for a long time. It was not recently broken, knocked over. All right. Um, like, maybe we could stand on the statue and make some noise. Then, presumably, it couldn't tunnel underneath us and suck us into the dirt and mm. shoo us to death? Well, why don't we continue to look around first before we, um, I don't know, make a stand somewhere? Because, <laughs> like, you still okay. wanted to check out the pond and everything, right? Mm -hmm. and yeah. then, I mean, I can't see everything from here. Hmm. even right. with a natural 20. <laughs> well, so I will say this this park is not that big, right? And so with your natural 20, I've kind of described for you at least the basic science of what you've seen throughout this small park, um, which is not to say you can't go other places and do other things, but I'm just saying you're not going to go to the other end of the map and make a different survival check, right? You've seen what the survival mm. check will tell you. Right, I was thinking more of these guys mm -hmm. might like with the water or whatever that is in the middle there. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, the thing in the middle is, uh, it is, it's a, it's a place where it, it's just like a little like dais, like someone could, you know, stand on or like a, like a small group could do like a performance there. Um, and you see that, um, it's not really shown on the map here, but there's like, struts to where you could put up like a temporary roof to make it like a gazebo i'm not doing a gazebo bit in case anyone was worried about that okay. <laughs> it's the terrible burrowing gazebo the wild <laughs> ones that are sick and lost mm -hmm. I just thought that would be cool, actually, to ha like as an actual thing to, that you could have in a park is that it's like it's this normal little dais platform, but you could also has like you could rig up like a cover for it sometimes if you needed it or it was rainy or something. But like, yeah, I'm not I'm not doing the gazebo gag. <laughs> That's not what's happening. Um, well, we're likely to find this thing is not in the water because if it's going to burrow, wouldn't it let all the water out? It depends on how much water comes in. I mean, if you want to is swim it, around and see if there's any holes. Is it a, a, a natural pond or a man? Uh, your guess is that it's a spring. There's a spring underground. Maybe. I'm not an expert around. on water, so. Uh, it looks too clean um, to have be connected to the city storm sewers. Or at the very least, the water that is coming up from a spring perhaps drains out into the storm sewers elsewhere, but the the water itself is not coming from that. Is that a natural bridge or just a tree knocked over on the uh, right on the right or? hand side? That is a tree that looks recently overturned. Like the tree was perhaps dead already, but now it's lying down, and it was knocked over, uprooted. 
And that might be some of the recent results of this mm -hmm. earthquake-inducing, tunneling, large, whatever the hell this thing mm -hmm. is. Do we have any idea what this thing might be? Valen, do you, do you know what could be that mm -hmm. big and tunneling? A turnip. Mm -hmm. There is, there is not anything turnip. in the local fauna that would be this big and act that, this way. That said, you have certainly heard stories of monsters that can do stuff like that, but nothing that is normally expected to be in this area. What she said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Well, that water, if you want to check out the water, I have no objection to that. Might as well have a moment of peace before it all gets water. terrible. Mm -hmm. In case, you know, I stir up anything, then... Uh, well, so I think as you help. as you approach and you're kind of standing near the pond, uh, you definitely realize as you're watching it that all of a sudden the the surface of the water starts, like, rippling. Yeah, no, that's a sound sign. Um, I'm, you know, I'm doing a, I'm doing the ripple gesture for those of you who are audio only. Um, you know, I'm, it's the Jurassic Park glass of water bit, you know, the, so something is causing the, the, the surface of the water to vibrate. And I, I, I think it's, it's subtle at first, but you see it, um, kind of intensify a little bit. And then, uh, all three of you sort of like briefly beneath your feet, feel the ground rumble just a little bit. And it kind of passes from left to right, and then dissipates again. Well, we can confirm it's here, or something. Yeah. Um, can anyone send a message back to Barry? Uh, nope. Uh, Wrong character. <laughs> <laughs> um, we could go and check out maybe on the other side of where that tree fell over. I don't. I don't know if... I don't know. Maybe there's a, a hole. I can't tell from the side. Uh, if maybe there's it left behind some traces in the ground. Like I don't know. Okay. Let's let's go over here. All right. So as you look to where the tree is uprooted, you definitely see um, what looks like a a spot where very near to the surface, like now that the tree is tipped over, you see a bit of a hollow underneath where something clearly burrowed through and created a tunnel. And the tunnel has mostly collapsed behind it because the ground here is not super, you know, stable in that way. But you do see that what looks like it was sort of, you know, this, it, the, the thing must have passed underneath this tree, which is why it tipped over, of course. But now you see evidence of the tunnel partially collapsed but it definitely came through this way at some point and knocked over the tree it's obvious that's what happened to the tree i don't uh, suppose it left anything behind like feathers or scales or claw marks uh make an investigation check or perhaps a survival or i you know any of those better at survival mm -hmm. oh not today i'm not well you're you're all helping so you <laughs> can roll with advantage well okay you each um, so how about one, one more roll for, uh, for Atwater? Oh, see, there you go. <laughs> oh, there's the 24. So Atwater, um, here's where you notice that, um, many of the roots of this tree, it looks like the, this tree should have been more resistant to getting knocked over this way, but you can see that many of the roots are shorter than they would normally be because they have been burned by acid. All righty. Burned by acid. That doesn't trouble me very much. Um, what would burn with acid? A black dragon, but why would it be burrowing? Devolves I'm not very familiar with dragons. Maybe they get lost from time to time. Giant be a small ants. one, though. Can you talk to a giant ant? Not me. You really just need a giant boot. I mean, someone could make uh, like a nature or an arcana check, I suppose. If if you're 
approaching it this way instead of just trying to like attract it in some way. I could make an arcana okay. check. I actually have a plus four. Mm -hmm. And I only have a plus two to nature, which is weird. Yeah. Okay. Not 20, not natural. Uh, yeah, <laughs> so the burrowing plus the acid um, makes you think perhaps there's a, a, a type of monster called an ankeg. But you would, uh, but what, you know, the thing is, you didn't, wouldn't have immediately come to mind because ank eggs are usually like a desert thing. They wouldn't normally be in this biome at all. That's really weird. Also, they tend to be in much more out of the way areas. To have one near a city is very unusual. You know, those are mostly a danger for people like out on the road. Hmm. Hmm. So a lost pet then? Um, well, or somebody that just like put it here for some reason. Um, you're good with people, right, Beck? Much better than plants. Well, I wonder if maybe we couldn't ask someone to run to the Druid's Grove and, uh, and, uh, send them a report on what we found just to keep them up to date. Well, we might be able to find a runner, but this sounds like it's about to about to come through the surface. Yeah, you definitely just mm -hmm. felt it more tremor underneath you, kind of passing kind of from south to north this time, and it feels a little bit more intense, like it's perhaps responding to your, your presence and activity. I think we're going to have to get eyes on before we send any kind of report, Valen. Yep. Um, I don't kind of want to go to the middle here. Okay. <laughs> It doesn't seem to disturb the water, so I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> well, that's that's land, isn't it? It's yeah, but floating. it's surrounded by water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the problem, though. I don't much care to be surrounded by water. Sorry, at water. Well, yeah. What kind of worry. shoes or boots does Valen wear? Um. Trying to remember. Uh, hold on, let me. I mean, I would imagine picture. it's just flavor, like you. Oh, you know, you're yeah. Not... I remember what they are. They're they're just like they're very thin, uh, cloth like uh, ballet flat type things. Oh, okay, okay. So <laughs> it's not hard soles then. Is my, no. So that's kind of what I was getting at, just because I think, you know, the 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 stone Almost thing barefoot, in the ground but... would would definitely conduct vibrations into the ground more than surrounding ground would be but you are soft-footed in your uh mounting of the the little stone platform but definitely as you wander around you you get a sense that whatever it is is somewhat agitated perhaps growing more so all right um i'm gonna try and get its attention all right how are you gonna do that i'm gonna go stand over here on this log because i don't care if i get thrown in the water um and i'm gonna thump the the butt of my trident against the wood of the tree okay and uh, you're you're just doing it like with an attempt to just like make a loud noise that sort of vibrates into the ground Yep. All right. Well, make, um, hmm. S sell me which skill you would like to roll for that. Hmm. Um, could be like well, performance or it could be even just strength to say you're hitting it really hard or uh, wisdom to know just where to hit it. Yeah. Performance. Okay. I'm a performer. Okay. 16. All right. Yeah, so I think that, uh, so do you do you just thump it? Are you saying anything, doing anything else? Come forth. If you are ill, we shall heal you. If you are evil, we shall slay you. Mm -hmm. You read that in a book, didn't you? <laughs> Probably. Uh, so I think as you, um, as you are, are, kind of watching 
you do suddenly feel the rumbling approaching you again a little bit and the uh, the the tree that you're standing on suddenly lurches to the side uh, make a dexterity save Okay. With a 13, I think you just managed to keep your feet and, and, and stay on the log and not kind of get tossed into the water. But the thing that has suddenly caused the tree to lurch is apparent as uh, a, a, a great big bug <laughs> uh, emerges out of that particular little tunnel like this. And it causes the... Uh, the um, you know, the, the tree to lurch and, uh, Valen, yeah, this, this is an ank egg, but it's a messed up ank egg. Like, like ank eggs are monsters anyway, but this one looks like weird and like distorted and like maybe mutated in some way. Uh, and we're going to roll initiative. It's not good, not good, not good. Gross, 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 gross. All right, so let's see. Let's get uh, uh, get everybody on the turn tracker. Uh, I hope it put everybody on there. Uh, and everyone was okay. If uh, I everyone might have to uh, put their uh, uh, if it might have to put your number on there again, because I, I, I maybe messed that up, but, uh, uh, okay. So let's, uh, uh, at what are your initiative? There we go. Four. All right. So, uh, yep. Initiative time as this thing rears up to the surface, uh, uh, Valen, you can see, this thing is all kinds of messed up. Um, and it is sort of like hissing and clacking in a very chaotic sort of way. And seems to be like dripping gobs of green slime from its mouth. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Mm -hmm. Forget what I said. Just, just put it up <laughs> in its misery. <laughs> that, I, I, we want to save animals, but that one's gross. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think there's pretty, any saving this one. Yeah. Well, nice. it, so it, it is definitely your turn, though. You, you're, you're first right. up. Yeah. That um, was quick. I am going to cast Absorb Elements. Okay. Um, with I the trigger I, damage being acid. I think you can, I think that's a reaction you can oh, do. Oh, it is. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay. Yeah. So you can I've never do that. i a druid oh. before, so. Yeah, that spell you can do upon getting hit by an elemental attack. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. In that case, I'm going to cast, oh, what the heck, right out of the gate, Flaming Sphere. <laughs> okay. Uh, so, uh, let's get a Flaming Sphere on the board. Someone after my very own heart. Mm, right. That was a crap roll, huh? Um, and so... And I can make that something that you can. Uh, oh, you know what? I'll just have to move it. Uh, so, and I think you might be able to move it, but uh, if you can't, let me know where you want it. Yeah, it's not letting me select it. Okay, um, I was going to put it kind of right here. All right. There we go. All right. And, uh, and, and uh, do you, you attack with it or does it make a save? Uh, it makes a dexterity saving throw, a 12. Okay. It got a natural 20, so it, it succeeded. Oof. Probably still takes half damage, though, I would guess. Yeah, which is like a two. All right. <laughs> so it takes one or two is the half? Two is half. Okay. Because it was five total. All right. Well, it's it does take two acid damage. Uh, or two fire damage, I mean. Um, all right. Uh, so, uh, 
Here's the other thing that I'll let you all know now is that I'm, I'm continuing to use some creatures from the Flea Mortals book. And one of the fun things that it has is legendary creatures fit for lower level parties. And so uh, it, this, <laughs> this creature has some things that um, uh, normally like only legendary creatures would have. But it also has what's known as villain actions which are things that it has three of them. It can eat, only do each one once, but it does it after one of your turns. And so it is using its first one now, which is called Big Bug. The Ankeg <laughs> stands on their hind legs in an impressive and terrifying display of dominance. It just rears up and, ah, and spatters this green slime all over the place. Uh, each enemy within 30 feet, which I think is three, four, five. Valen, I think you, uh, wait, one, two, three, four, five. So you are actually just out of range. And uh, everyone else, I think, is in 30 feet of range. Right? Gosh, I can't, like, yeah. Yeah. So uh, in any case, within 30 feet, needs to make a wisdom saving throw. And that was disgusting. All right, wisdom saving throw. Here we come. Mm -hmm. And there we go. All right, so uh, you are frightened of the the ant keg, ah! which which means that you have disadvantage on attack rolls and uh, saving throws while you are within sight of it, and you cannot willingly make yourself move closer to it. And uh, it looks like uh, Vec was also frightened. What was your what was your roll? Uh, Eleven. Okay, yeah. So that does also fail. So, yeah, it's it it's. Big, big bug, big, big bug scare you. Um, so on that note, back it is, it is your turn. Maybe it's time to make a report. Um, let's see. But as an action, uh, he's going to reach into a tiny little bag, mm -hmm. pull out a fuzzy bundle. Okay. In case, let's go for this, mate, and toss it to the ground, and do 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 do. A boar. a boar appears. Okay. A boar. Well, it didn't actually boar. open up. I do have a boar token. Boop. Boar. I can give you control over it. And you can put it where you like. Okay. You can control the boar. All right. Um, we do have at water. Okay. Right there. Mm-hmm. So I've I've just put it on the token near you. You can put it where you yep, want. Mm -hmm. Yep. I think um All right, friend. This is a terrible one. Stay in front of me. And just kind of bring it closer. Okay. Defend me at all costs, please, friend. All right. Uh okay. That's all it's gonna do for now. All right. Uh it is now the Ankeg's turn. Um can someone double check with the um the uh the standard frightened rules is it disadvantage on attack rolls and saving throws and ability checks is it all of that or is it just attack rolls someone could confirm that because i don't have dnd beyond up right now uh right uh it is disadvantage on uh ability checks and attack rolls while the source of fear is within sight okay. you can't willingly move closer to the source of the fear gotcha um uh, okay, so um, as the Ankeg rears up and looks down at um, the the uh, you know the Atwater on the log and the boar and Beck, um, it rears its head back and spits acid at uh, at, at all three of you in in a big long line, and so I need the uh, the the boar and Atwater and Beck to all make dexterity saving throws. Uh. Oh, look at you. No, not for the boar. Uh, sorry, that was dexterity? Dexterity saving throws, yeah. That's for Vec. Okay. Uh, a 14 saves. Um, and uh, looks like Atwater fails. Um, and the boar fails. Um, so the, um, the boar is going to take 10 acid damage. Oh, it's still around. Yeah. 
Uh, at water, you're going to take five because you're resistant. Yep. Um, and and then Vec, you uh, are going to take five because you saved but are not resistant. As it spits the acid uh, at you, um, and then it is going to go uh, underground, and uh, and uh, you lose sight of it. So like you don't know where it went. Uh, oh, good, it's gone by by strict visuals. But you do have, um, uh, like, you can you'll, you'll be able to make checks to try to determine where it is underground right now. Uh, but yes, it's uh, so it it went underground. Um, I'm assuming it didn't. But if it, I don't I don't think does that count? Like if it's still ends its turn within five feet of that sphere, would it still take damage? Uh, it didn't end the turn though. It it went underground, oh, okay. so yeah, it's unfortunately not not within okay. five feet of it anymore. All right. Uh, uh, okay, so it is Atwater's yeah. turn now. Fortunately for you, because it went underground, it's no longer in line of sight. So yeah. I, I will let you make a uh, a perception check or a survival check to try to track where it's burrowing right now. And that's not like an action or anything. I'll let you all just do that. Okay, yeah. You can see that it was it's moving directly south from where it was, and currently it is under the under the water. You can see the water's surface kind of trembling as it must be burrowing underneath. Um... The pond is not deep, incidentally. Okay. It's like maybe uh, maybe three feet deep. Do I think I can like stab through the bottom of the pond? No. No. Mm -mm. Um. Then I guess you I can ready double. in action if you like. All right. I'm gonna ready in action to attack it with my trident. Okay. Uh, is that ranged only, or can you throw it? Um. I think uh, it's range, or I excuse me. I think it's melee only melee. is what I mean. Yeah. I mean, so I'm, you're staying where you are, though. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, oh. So. Well, on. see, that's what I'm just saying is that right now, if it's melee only, there's a like, your the odds of you being where where it's going to come up are I low. Forgot to equip anything. Okay. Um, that explains why I had an armor class of four. Okay. An armor um, class of four. You have four, nine or something like that. I was, nine. I was gonna say. <laughs> it's like four. really low, and I mm. just this moment figured out why. Uh, okay. Uh, so. So yeah, I, I can't what I throw it. I I can throw it, and I okay. have hand axes. All Actually, right. Actually, I'm gonna ready my hand axes to throw. Gotcha. Okay. Great. Uh, okay, so that is your turn then. Um, do you say anything? It's heading south. All right. And I point with the tip of my great axe. Okay, uh, Valen, your turn. Um, well, it's underground, so um, let's see. If I have something up on concentration, I have to drop it to use another. Uh, yeah, if you cast spell, a right? different. No, so you can cast another non concentration spell. Okay. But if you cast another concentration spell, the first one drops. Right. Okay. So I am going to ready Ice Knife. Okay. When I see it again. All right. You're staying where you are? Yep. Okay. Uh, all right, Vec. Um, all right. Can't see it. Good. Something's going right. Um, they're all doing very, very well. I'm going to be over here, and uh, he's going to sprint. Um, first of all, what is this here? Is that just a... Which, um, it's just a rock. Okay. It's got, like, moss on it. Like a big rock, or just like a. It's a rock the size that you see on the on the screen. All right, that's closer then. Excellent. 
uh, as he will run over to and climb up to onto the rock. Okay. Can't really do it because of the way that maps go, but he's on the rock. Um, and tell the boar probably can't climb the rock. You're doing well. Uh, that's about it. And then a uh, free action to ready the bow. Okay. And uh, how about full defensive for an actual action? Sure. Sure. Well, you can't ready the bow and. Well, he just pulls defense, the bow out. Yeah, He's not, gotcha. not holding it. Okay. Oh, uh, Atwater and uh, Vex should be able to make a um, wisdom saving throw to um, try to beat the frightened condition. Ah, wisdom? Mm-hmm. Nope. Okay, both of you. No, yeah. So right now you can't see it, but you are still frightened. And so if you see it again, you are once again subject to it. Uh, the conditions of that. I, is that not clear? I, I was yep. just... I, okay, yeah. So in any case, uh, uh, but what... Uh, what, what happens uh, now on its turn is that from beneath the uh, where the boar stands, it erupts out of the ground uh, within, uh, so, and it bursts out. So this area where it is right now becomes difficult terrain. Uh, and uh, every creature on the ground in this area must make a dexterity saving throw. Goodbye, so. boar. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm not technically on the ground. Uh, well, need to... you, I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about the boar, right where the where it came up. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so you got uh, the boar. Okay, you didn't. I, yep. I didn't you hear you say what it was. Okay, a four. A four is a failure. Um, which means that it is pushed to an unoccupied space of the Ankeg's choice and is restrained by rubble. <laughs> um, yeah, and then uh, uh, at that point, uh, the Ankeg is going to try to bite it with advantage because it is restrained. Wow. Uh, I mean, I'm guessing the boar doesn't have a high armor class, but even still... No. Um, Goodbye, Bo. That's only a 12, though. Is that still hit? Wow. That still hits. Yeah. Okay. So, so it's taking... It only had one hit point left. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I think what happens is the ank egg um, basically erupts out of the ground, plucks the boar out of it, out, out of the, the rubble, and begins to chomp on it, at which point I think it is... is this? Does it say these are like fake creatures? Do they disappear? Uh, or is it just like stay and it gets a little, it gets to actually eat them? Uh, it vanishes when it reduces to zero hit. Points. Okay, so I think it, it bites, and then um, the you know like the the board disappears and it looks really confused and it's kind of uh, uh, you know it it it's it's looking around like wait where I I just had a board right here it's it's that video of the raccoon trying to wash the cotton candy. And so, yes, the held attacks will happen now. Okay. Mm -hmm. That was my question. Yep. Because basically I'm now attacking twice in a row. Uh, well, I mean, you're going to have your turn in a second, but first right. do your one held attack. Right. Mm -hmm. So I throw a hand axe. I can only throw one, right? Yeah. 17. Okay. Uh, a 17 does hit. points of damage okay um first blood yeah and i'm just double checking is this something so i think yeah eight points of damage yeah your 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 hand axe bites into its uh its chitinous armor and and you know and hurts it and it and it snarls at you and uh you know like <laughs> Actually, so I just recently watched Predator, and everyone knows that the weird like the sounds that the Predator makes. Uh, apparently, according to the closed captions, that is a wickering, wickering softly, for example. And so, 
That's uh, the noise it's making. Anyway, uh, yeah, so now it is your turn proper. But once again, you are frightened of it still. So you still have... Uh, Oh, you probably should have rolled that attack with disadvantage, but I'll let that one stand. But you're, you're, if you want to attack again on this turn. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, because it's scary. It is scary, mm -hmm. but um, it's not showing me the ring of the ram. Well, All I right. don't. Can you do that from a distance, or is that melee? Um. No, that is a oh, distance okay. oh. attack. Well, please read it to me. We're, we're kind of just... We're, okay, go this ahead. This ring has three uh, charges yeah? and regains 1d3 expended uh -huh. charges daily at dawn. While wearing the ring, you can use an action to expend one to three of its charges to okay. make a ranged spell attack against one creature you can see within 60 feet. Okay, so the ring please... produces a spectral ram's head... And its attack roll is plus seven. Okay. All right. Uh, I think it is still at disadvantage because you're, okay. yeah. Then I will roll it again. Mm -hmm. Okay. 14. Uh, so a 14, lucky for you, does still hit. So what is it? What happens right. to it? So um, I expended one charge because I was afraid I was going to miss. Uh -huh. And the target takes 2d10 force damage and is pushed five feet away from me. Okay. So roll, roll the damage. Eleven points of damage. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm I'm marking this area as difficult terrain because it's uh, where it erupted out of the ground. Ten or eleven? Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah. So you definitely heard it, and this thing that was kind of half out of the ground is sort of like blasted over backwards. Um, and then what it does immediately after uh, you do that is it takes villain action two quick burrow. It burrows. Uh, up to twice its speed. Um, um, so, I, yeah, you have your, your reaction as well. So go ahead. You had your held action. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah well, I already I rolled everything. So okay, sure. Well, oh, Ice I Snake missed... was seven. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but it still needs to make the DC 12 deck save. Okay. For the, uh, when it explodes. Uh-huh. Uh, it fails. Okay. Let's see. Is that the cold damage one? Uh, it's just the cold damage. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so but, that's the 2d6 one. Okay. Uh, so nine points. All right, yeah. So it does that. Um, and um, it... Uh, uh, so, but now it takes its villain action, which is Quick Burrow, and it is going to, um, once again, go underground. I'm going to roll my wisdom. Yes, to see if you beat the, beat the fear. That would be a no. Okay, and uh, so, uh, yeah, that makes it your turn again, uh, Valen. Valen. Sorry. Can I make a perception check or whatever it was to yes. see? Okay, what what did you I, ask for? I said perception or survival. Well, they're both kind of the same for mm -hmm. me, so. Thirteen. Thirteen. Uh, well, here, let's see. I'm going to, I'm going to have it be a contested roll. Uh, uh, yeah, you, you lost sight of it. You're not, you're not sure where it went. Okay. Um, let's see. How many, how far can I move that? Um, up to 30 feet. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So I could put it there, mm -hmm. which is kind of where I last saw it. Buzzing it right by Atwater. <laughs> uh, what if I do like that? Yeah. Yeah, so put it like there. 
So he he's able to go around it. So mm -hmm. yeah, like there. I can't move it. So. <laughs> oh, well, okay. Sorry. Yeah. Ah, layers. That's where you wanted it, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Good. Okay. All right. And then, um, I think you, you have to use your action to move it probably, right? Or no? Uh, that's a bonus action okay. to move it. All right. But I don't have anything better. Uh, yeah, no, I'm good. But I think that that's it. I can't really okay. do much else. All right. I don't want to burn another spell yet. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay, uh, Vec, you're up. Right, it's gone again. That's good. That's good. Trick worked. Time to do the trick again. And once again, reach into the little bag uh, <laughs> and pulls out a happy little friend, a panther oh, this time. Panther. Which he's going to throw. I think uh, I right have all there. of these because um, Jason had this item um, in uh, our Rhyme of the Frost Maiden campaign. Um, I don't remember if that's where you clicked, but let me give you control of the token. Okay, put it where you like. So, down there. All right. Just kind of leading it away from him. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's that's the whole thing. Okay, so Just go ahead and make your wisdom saving throw. All right. Uh, probably not. Twelve. Uh, a twelve, I think. No, sorry, not quite. Uh, yeah. Just tell the thing. All right, if you see something nasty break out of the ground, mm -hmm. that's your target. Uh, all right. Uh, so, um, uh, Valen, make a dexterity saving throw. As it erupts from the ground right underneath you, just to the side, next to the stone platform here. 16. Aha! Well, so you are, uh, that's a successful save, so you are not restrained by rubble. Um, and so that means you are still... You are moved five feet, so it it comes up right here, um, and you are moved five feet away, like out of its space. But you can pick where. All right, uh, and you are not restrained. Um, however, it is then going to kind of shift over a little bit and spit acid again at Valen and. Atwater. So that's uh, another dexterity saving throw, please. Uh, I'd like to use my reaction to cast Absorb Elements. <laughs> okay, yeah, that absolutely you can do that. All right, I failed, but I take half that. Okay. Well, so, uh, and what was your, did you make a new dexterity save? There we go. Uh, well, uh, well, I don't know what you. Oh, yeah, no, that that's my absorb element. So yeah, okay, but roll the dexterity save. Right. Okay, so that you you uh, you saved. Atwater did not, but is resistant. So this was a low roll. So it's only it was only four total. So that's two acid damage for you, Atwater, um, and then it's uh, uh, it's also. You saved, so it's only one acid damage to you, Valen. Um, but here's the other thing that I, I meant to mention last time and didn't. Um, uh, that because you failed the save, at water, the acid is still on you. And so you might choose to leave it because you're resistant, but otherwise, um, unless you take an action to wipe the acid off of you, you're going to continue taking damage. Uh, at the start oh, okay. of each of your turns. So the acid is on you and still burning. Uh, Valen's not the case because she uh, avoided the worst of it. Uh, but yeah, so it, uh, it it emerged here. And uh, I think, Valen, one thing that you did notice as it came up around you, make uh, I you know what? I'm not even going to make you have to roll for this. You note that this thing's underbelly seems less armored. And uh, you would have to drop prone to attack it down there, but you suspect that you could do more damage if you were hit it in the, in the underbelly. All right. Well, I'm going to try that. <laughs> okay. 
Is it? Uh, well, it's not it your. Turn? It's not your turn. Yeah, it's I was like, turn. Okay. so it's Atwater's turn. Um, I'm gonna go with uh, the ring of the ram instead of trying to throw an axe past my friend. Okay. It, what was the is the range is? Um, the range is sixty feet. Okay, great. Great. All right, so sixteen. Uh, oh, I need to roll again. Yeah. Ten. Uh, yeah. Unfortunately, a ten is not enough. Um, right. Is is the 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 ram's spectral head blasts past it, um, but to right. to no effect. Uh, keep my up. Oh, wrong save. Uh, wisdom save. Okay. Still doesn't do it. Twelve. Nope, not quite. Uh, okay. Um, so, Valen, it, it is your turn. This thing is right there next to you, though. Yep. Um, so, bonus action, I'm going to cast Shalele. All right. Uh, let's see. Cast that. Not sure why it did that, I guess. It well, it ought, you get to okay. make an attack roll when you do it. So that, but you actually roll with advantage, so you can roll one more time to see if uh, if it would have been a crit. Uh, because uh, normally, when you're prone, you would attack with disadvantage. But this creature, because of its soft underbelly, you make uh, rolls at its belly while prone with advantage. So just a twenty-two stands, but that certainly hits. You do five bludgeoning damage to it, and it oh. Shrieks. Hmm? Plus, hold on, the oh, absorb yeah, elements your, thing? Yeah, which was, I think, three. Let's see. Uh, you Is roll it, it at, at the attack time. Yeah. I know, but it. I think, but that you clicked on it earlier, and it did roll already, and so that's what I'm oh, saying. Oh, did so it? We, yeah, because oh, okay. you rolled it, and oh. it said triggering type damage three, right? So that's, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, now, that so said, uh, it is resistant to acid damage, as you might guess, so it's only going to take one. But you do feel you have magically transferred some of its own acid back to it in a in a place that it doesn't usually have acid, so it does sting a little. <laughs> um. Um, and when you do that, it's going to use its skitter reaction, and it is going to scoot um, 20 feet away from you. Okay. Uh, like that. Not underground. All but right, uh, well. but it does not prompt opportunity attacks when it does that. Okay. Reaction. Well, I still have movement, correct? Uh, yep. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to move. Actually, I'm going to go like right here, like on these rocks here. Okay. So kind of maybe a little precariously balanced, but. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. Uh, so that is, uh, that was balanced turn. Vec. Right, well, I'm bothered by it, but my panther is fearsome and ready to go mm -hmm. and is already given orders to attack, so it will start to move right to this thing. It's got a move of 50, and it races up, and it tries to pounce, but it first has to do a claw attack. Let's see right. So claw attack it is. That's a five. That's not good. Mm, no, so it doesn't get to make the follow up bite. I assume doesn't doesn't knock it prone, right. so it doesn't even chance, have a chance to knock. Well, it, prone. it cer certainly knocks it, or you know, like gets its attention. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. That's, I think like that's the, the panther races over there, and I think that there's perhaps just a, a slow like uh, the last ten feet or so is like, oh, oh, oh. I, that's... I, I kind of imagine it turns into that, that expression. It like, here's here's what you thought was going to happen. Here's what really happens. And mm -hmm. what the really happens is a tiny little cat goes, bonk. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it has its attention. Sure. And with shaky fingers, uh, Vec, as Vec, yeah, I don't even know his name, will attempt to uh, fire a shot, fire an arrow at the thing. Okay. Uh, but a seven is not going to hit. Uh, seven is not going to hit, I'm afraid. No. All right. Uh, okay. Um, the end of his turn. Let's see if he's. Nope, still afraid. Wow. Yeah. You, you only. You only need a. You only need a thirteen, y'all. 
these are very lovable characters. Sure. They're not built for wisdom. Hmm. They're built for speed. Well, that's that's the issue. Is yeah, low wisdom. Um, okay, so it is that makes it the Ankeg's turn again, um, and it is going to attempt to uh, eat your panther. And it gets a 25 to hit. That's close. Mm -hmm. It's going to do five slashing damage plus um, two uh, acid damage. Um, okay. And it is grappled. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, then it is going to uh, burrow underground again, taking the panther with it. <laughs> He's in the best possible place. They can attack at will now. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. And so it is. It is grappled the the panther, and it is now back underground. And so I should be I, I should be clear because I don't think I have been that. Um, when it goes back underground like that, um, it is leaving a tunnel behind that theoretically could be entered. Just, I'm, I'm just, yeah, just letting you know. So I'm gonna, I'm making these little squares that are rep representative of where those are. That is a theory to which I do not subscribe. Okay. Being frightened as hell. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that was its turn. Atwater, your turn. I'm going to ready another axe. Actually, uh, yeah, ready another axe. Um, no, you, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to wash off the acid. Okay. And then I get my wisdom saving throw. And I'm doing even worse. Okay. I'll just be over here. <laughs> All right, uh, Valen, your turn. Um, okay, so it's back underground again. Mm -hmm. But at, let me reiterate, it is leaving the tunnel behind. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't. I don't think I want to. Mm -hmm. Uh. So I'm gonna. Stay here and maybe move my spear. Where do I want to move it? Um, I'm going to move it about, uh, let's see, we'll do here okay. so that it doesn't set, uh, I almost said Nedry, uh, Vec, mm -hmm. <laughs> or that tree step on fire. Mm-hmm. And um, I'm going to ready. Uh, hold on. You're definitely just... seeing sl l little tiny like embers and sparks in in the grass as it passes. Like it's not mm -hmm. started a fire, but it easily could. I'm gonna ready ice knife. Okay. Again. All right. Uh, okay. So that's that's your turn. Yep. Oh wait. So where? Yeah. Sorry. You wanted this moved? What down down here? Uh, yeah, yeah, that's good. Okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, uh, Vec, your turn. All right, maybe it's gone for good. Don't sense the panther's gone. Don't really think I'd anyway. Um, right, time to get ready, and he'll just snap his fingers, producing a, a gout of flame on his finger, and then kind of just keep watch. All right. <laughs> so go ahead and uh, make your, your wisdom saving throw. Uh, oh, that might do it. Yeah. 18. Okay. Uh, an 18 is a success. You are no longer frightened of the NK. Right. It's good and gone now. All We're right. all safe, everyone. No problems. Nothing to worry about. Uh, okay. Uh, so the NK on its turn um, is going to oh, stay no. underground and bite the panther again for... Uh, 10 uh, piercing damage and yeah, Panther's gone. Okay. And so it roars in frustration as it has once again been deprived of a meal, but uh, it is it is burrowing 
somewhere. Um, where did I put it? Uh, I'm on the right layer, right? Where did I? What happened? Where? Where did I? I didn't delete it. Oh, okay. There it is. It's Never not mind. on the turn tracker anymore no, either. No, it's just on the GM layer. I so I I uh, see yeah. I see it there still. I'm just trying to have it um, moved it's there. It's burrowed very deep. Yeah. So let's see. Well, uh, uh, okay, and um, and and then it's uh, it's you know you 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 can all still try to do the thing where you make the. Uh, Try to sense where it's going on your turn, but uh, it does not come back above this time, which I'm afraid means that you're going to lose your held uh, spell, Valen. Uh, but it is now your turn, Outwater. All right. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ready my last axe. And I still can't make the wisdom save. Okay. Uh, all right, uh, and you're readying the axe. You're staying where you are. Um, okay, Valen, your turn. Uh, I'm staying where I'm at, and I am possibly going to move my sphere. Okay. If it shows up again, but other than that, I mean, I think nope. with the movement, you need to, uh, you need to, you can't hold the movement. Actually, you know what? I take it back because you, when you ram it into something, you you can that make that as an attack roll. So I'll let you do that. Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, so uh, that that Vec, that would be your turn. Nobody's making the checks to try to see where it is. I'm standing uh, on a stone, so I don't make any intention to myself anyway. Okay. Ah, but I will notch an arrow. Be ready for it, and just touch the tip of the arrow with the flame to light it on fire. All right. Uh, okay, so it is its turn again, and it is going to erupt from the ground right by you. So make a, make a uh, dexterity saving throw. Sixteen. Uh, so that's a success. So you can choose which square five feet away from it you want to end up in without um, being restrained. Right. I think I want to be... I'm moving five feet, five feet there, I yeah. guess. Yeah, you just have to not be in its space where it comes up. But at That's the same preferable. time, um, you can make your, your held action, but with the caveat that uh, now that it's in melee range, you would make that with a disadvantage. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, Oops, wrong button. And then, um, yeah, Valen and... Um, that's a nine. Okay. Uh, yeah, nine's not going to do it. Uh, your hand axe, Atwater? Uh, my hand axe. Mm -hmm. Okay, 17. 17, uh, 17 hits. Uh, I hate advantage. to say it, it's with disadvantage. Oh, yeah. right, yeah, you still haven't, yeah. You know, maybe it'll, maybe, yeah. Eight. Oh, look, Whoa. yeah. So, there you go. So yeah, I'll yeah. keep that eight points of damage. Yeah. Okay. It is starting to look rough, and I think at this point. Well, let me do my wisdom saving throw. Okay. Well, sure. Yes. Okay. Finally. Finally. Yes. No longer well, frightened. That wasn't your turn, right? That was reaction. That was reaction, yeah, and we still have valence. Mm hmm So it has to make a dex save? Like how I'm I'm been looking for the Yeah, it makes a dex save. Yeah, dex save of twelve. All right. I think I'm allowing it this time, but I think normally that sort of a move probably isn't supposed to be a held action, but um it f fails the dex save. So it takes eight fire damage. Yep. All right. It's starting to look rough, and I think at this point, what it does is um, it uh, it sort of wriggles and shakes itself, you know, 
reacting to its wounds with rage. And as it does so, acid is spraying from the Ankeg's wounds onto each creature within 15 feet of them, which I think is only you right now, um, Beck. But it is definitely yep. going to include you. And you need to make a dexterity saving throw. 15. Okay. And that's a success. So uh, you're going to take um, four acid damage. This um, is my favorite coat, you bloody... Also, Atwater, for your turn, because you did not wipe the acid off of yourself, you need to I take... Did. You didn't take an action to do it. You held a, your hand axe attack. No, I didn't. I, I took... The action. I, I said I wasn't holding. For my the hand first one, you axe. did. Yeah, because it's been it was underground for two rounds. So. We we just now. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, never mind then. Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't remember. I didn't hear you say that, but I believe you. Okay. okay. All right. Because we just we just had you do the hand axe, but you meant the one before that. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh. All right. Um. So that uh, those are the reaction attacks as it uh, emerges. Oh, does, that, hmm? does that mean I do have acid that I have to take care of myself too? No, because you didn't feel it safe. Oh, okay. I did um, take damage, but yes, okay. um, you took half damage because you succeeded. However, now it's going to try to bite you. Um, you're not restrained, but, so it doesn't have advantage. That's good. But it does roll a dirty twenty. Yep, that's enough. Yeah. It's going to do ooh, 10 slashing damage. <laughs> plus. Plus ooh, 4 acid damage. Rolled He's down. Almost yeah, rolled almost max. Actually, it did roll it rolled exactly max for that attack uh, on damage. Nope. Well, he's down. All right. Um so much, and much. just to uh, make this extra fun for everybody. It is now going to go back underground with him. <coughs> Excuse me. Wait, with Vec? With yep. Vec, yep. Oh, no. <laughs> it bit him, it grappled him, it, it and he's unconscious, and... and it went underground with him. Yep. Bloop. Um, Which I will reiterate once again, leaving a tunnel behind. I'm going after him now mm -hmm. that I can actually move forward. If I could touch him, I could heal him, but I can't, so... <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, you know, if you figure out a way to get to him. All right. All right. Um, okay, that was the Ankeg's turn. So, yeah, it's that water. Um, so, what's my movement? Probably 30 feet. Probably 30 feet. Yes, it is. So... Mm -hmm. uh, Bearing in mind that these, these brown squares are difficult terrain. Because it's basically crumbly tunnel. Okay, well, I can just make it to the tunnel without walking 10, through the fire. Twenty, yeah, 30, yeah. And so you're in there, and you can you can see. Do you have dark vision? Uh, I have no idea. Does a water genasi have dark vision? I don't know. <laughs> you guys need to. <laughs> I I don't I don't have all of this memorized. You have to tell me these things. So it it's in the dark. So if you have dark vision, you can maybe see it. But otherwise, no. Because it's dark in the tunnel. Okay. Uh, I don't think I do. Okay. Well, yep. Yeah, it's dark I in the tunnel. I could give it to you if you could, if I could touch you. But again, well, you know what? I so <laughs> the thing is that I it, it, it it's not that far away from Water. an opening. I think it'll. I would count it as dim light. But if you wanted to try to attack underground, you would be um. Water Genasi do have dark sight. Okay. Or well, dark vision. Good. Then not. you you do, but you guys need to you need I you need to be responsible for these things. Uh, <laughs> okay. okay. All right. Yeah. I I mean I don't I don't know, so that's why you have to tell me. Um so okay. So you've you've gone in there and you can see down the tunnel at it and it's you see it's big old butt as it's you know, digging through the ground. Uh, all right. Um I'm going to try my last charge on my ring. Okay. And... Oh, go. Yay. 17. Okay. 
Uh, a 17. No longer a yeah. No longer a disadvantage. Mm-hmm. That hits. I mean, it's not going to move five feet away because it's literally digging the tunnel as it goes. Yep. But it might drop my friend. Wow. Okay. 13. 13 um, it is not down, but that hurt it quite a lot. Um, it seems really, really injured now. Um, okay, so that's your turn. Uh, Valen, it's your turn. Everybody left. Mm. <laughs> um, let's see. I'm going to probably move. One, two, three, four, five. Uh trying to think if I want to dash or yeah I feel like having us all three in a, or both of us in a line is going to get nasty but um yeah I'm I'm going to I'm going to dash and I'm going to get see, one two three four five so I'm going to dash. That's my action. Okay. Uh, so so you are on top on the surface there, right? And you're not in the yeah. tunnel there. Gotcha. I'm not in the tunnel. Right. Because you're basically right on top of where it is underground. <laughs> not that you necessarily know that. Uh, all right. Uh, so Vec, I guess, make a death saving throw. Uh, okay. That's a success. Um, a terrible place to wake up if it happens. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's turn. Um, it, uh, I think, in its rage at getting hit in the butt, is actually going to drop you um, and turn around to try to bite uh, Outwater. All right. And it's going to get a 23 to hit. Okay. Uh, it's going to do seven piercing damage and one acid damage, which will be reduced to none for you. All right. Uh, but you are, it did hit, so you are grappled now um, by, uh, by its, its, its bite. And it is going to uh, try to dr drag you away. In in another in, in fact, I think it actually just grabs you and like turns around and then drops you next to um, next to where it's got um, Vec. So oh, okay. So I'm I'm gonna remove put put you all back on the um, token layer just so we can sort of see, but we have to remember that you're um, you're you're on the uh, uh, you're you're technically underground. Okay. So I think. It's got, yeah, the two of you there, but but Atwater currently still grappled. Uh, okay, and then I think I think that's its turn because it's now thinking. Okay, great, I've got two meals. Um, so Atwater, it's it's your turn, but you are grappled, um, and you're restrained. Can I roll to break the grapple? You can. That would be acrobatics or athletics. That's not going to work. No. Uh, unfortunately, no. Yeah, it's got its pincers right around like your, your elbows, pinning your arms to your, your sides, and it's real strong. Uh, okay, so, uh, Valen, it's your turn. So, all my friends are in the danger hole with mm -hmm. Big Scary Bug, and not entirely sure where they are, but... Seems likely they're still around in this area, so mm -hmm. I'm going to take a chance and use Mass Cure Wounds. Do you have to be able it, to see them or it no? It just says choose up to six creatures in a 30-foot sphere centered on that point. Okay. <laughs> it doesn't say I have to see them. So. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'll, that, that'll work. Okay, so r roll how much they get healed. Ugh, seven. Well, I mean, it's enough to wake up uh, Vec. Um, okay. Uh, Vec, you uh, find yourself awake, though injured. 
no longer grappled by the thing, but uh, you probably, as a fire genasi, have have dark vision as well. I would guess. I mean, I I mean, no. Nope, strangely enough. All right, well, so <laughs> it's dark, but also you can certainly sense this giant bug over you and maybe that there's one of your colleagues nearby, but it is dark because it's actually like blocking even hmm. the view to the yeah. opening. What? No, it, it is supposed to be there. Sorry, I, I just, yeah. Okay. I overlooked it. Sorry, sorry, <laughs> that's sorry, all right. sorry. It's all right. I have never played this character uh, No, that before, that's so. fine. Everybody's out of practice. It's no big deal. It's, it's, it's okay. I'm sorry if I gave anyone a hard time. It's just, I just... You know, all right. Uh, so you have dark vision. You can see the giant bug. It's got it's got at water there. Uh, what are you doing? It has that water. That's a problem. Mm -hmm. um, is it possible? It to seems really injured. Draw an attack with my sword. Yeah. Okay. In fact, uh, because draw. you are prone, you could attack with advantage against its soft underbelly. I will. I will pull the sword. All right, dearie. Light the sword up with a bonus action. And attempt to stab it in the butt because mm -hmm. you know that's what we're doing these days. That's how we. So instead of the underbelly, it is the soft underbutt. The soft underbutt. Yeah. <laughs> um, and for some reason, uh, it's not actually giving me a roll to. Uh, it's just weird. Uh, let's see if I can do it this way. Okay. With advantage. That is a seventeen to hit. A seventeen does hit and. Oh, sneak attack. Uh, yeah, because there's an, uh, no there's an uh, ally within five feet. <laughs> uh, well, yes, but it's a restrained ally. I don't know if that counts. But it doesn't well, matter because it had three hit points. So how do you <laughs> d narr narr narrate how you finish this thing off? Uh, I think it's one of those kind of like, oh, 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 that felt like magic. What? Oh, crap. And you know, just a series of of swear words in uh, in sort of primordial, as he's kind of bringing out the sword, and then just sort of like, well, for had to be really secret, good stuff, and just jab forward and kind of just shout and yell with all the force, like, hey, is it dead yet? Is it dead yet? And then sure enough, it is dead. <laughs> it is really disgusting. Mm -hmm. Uh, and it's also kind of got it's it's like fallen dead, but now it's also kind of like its bulk is still sort of blocking the the way through the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> is anybody still alive out there? Can I anybody am. move this thing? <laughs> I'm still here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, the tunnel walls are a little crumbly. You get the feeling like it's not. This isn't gonna hold for long. Can I go back? Because it it emerged another end of a tunnel so there's another end right uh it's been making a lot of tunnels but the tunnels only oh, last for a minute before in. they collapse right so yeah so oh, right now can, it's got let's see it's... if i can get a friend yeah yep. i think so I mean, jump down a... in there and start pulling it out <laughs> yeah well, so I... this is not an insurmountable challenge i'm not making you rolls i just want you to kind of role play and paint the mental picture of it's blocking you you're gonna have to get by it it's messy it's Got acid it's, all over it. it. It's crumbly walls. Yep. So yeah. reach once more into the bag. All right. Let's go, giant badger. Let's see if it happens. Giant badger! <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> all right. And the giant badger digs you out easily. Yay! Giant so badger is a large size, too, isn't it? Uh, it's a medium beast. Okay. Well, here's your uh, badger. Badger, badger, badger. <laughs> Um, and digs digs you out and no problem. Um, so you you now have discovered. So here's the thing though I, that I think especially um, Valen notices. Um, you know while the you know the Vec and Atwater are busy getting out is that like it's clearly an ant egg. Like you know from your understanding of what an ant egg is, but like I said, it's sort of distorted like mutated, like sick or something. Um, like even a normal ant egg can spit acid, but this one just felt like it's like sort of has weird, like bloated pockets all over it. And you can see even as you watch that there's these weird sort of dark, like fumes coming off of it, almost like smoke. And it seems like it is decaying at an extremely rapid rate, just like as you watch. 
that's not. Well, um, I'm not that's sure. Convenient. If we can get it back in time, but maybe we should bring it back to the Druids Grove, and I don't. Maybe they know something about this. I mean, we can report on it. I don't know if we're going to be grabbing any bit of it. Yeah, trailing we try. acid through streets with people on it. We get a lot. Maybe of we could just burn. take yeah. part of it. Do we have anything to wrap it in? We can find something. I mean, I mean there's fallen trees here. Something. Just like mm -hmm. there's rocks and there's bark that we can pull off the trees. And... Yeah, one of its big Down hard tree. chitinous claws um, could probably be smashed off of it and is not rotting as quickly. You, you could certainly, you know, be proof of what it was and carryable, you know, because otherwise yeah. this thing's, you know, probably weighs 400 pounds or more and it's f floppy and rotting now. So I'm, I'm concerned right. about the effect it will have on the ground here, but, um, uh, that's what we, yeah. So, mm -hmm. But before we leave, I have to check on my little my little friend in the tree stump. I'm mm -hmm. gonna use my rope to like tie, tie the claw up in a way that I can carry it. Okay. Yeah. So I think it takes a little doing to sort of break it off, but now that it's not resisting and in fact that its tendons and such are rotting, yeah. I, think I will able... get my new friend to help because mm -hmm. a giant badger is stronger than I am. All right. So, yeah, you're able to do that. And meanwhile, uh, Valen is running over to the chipmunk who is just going, that was intense. That was pretty gross, wasn't it? Oh, we don't yeah. have to whisper anymore, do we? <laughs> well, I guess not. I mean, is, is that the only one? Where did it come from? We don't know, but hopefully I'll find out. If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Are you okay? None of your, none mean, of your uh, stash got disturbed there? I mean, I'm fine, I guess, although that thing smells real bad. Um, I, uh, I mean, everything seems okay. I mean, I'm glad you got rid of it, but I just feel like I don't know where it came from. Could there be more? Did you see, be before this started, did you see anyone in the park doing anything funny? No. No, no magical rituals or anything like that? Mm -mm. No. But you mm. know... Um, I feel like the first time I noticed it was when I was over by the wall. Hmm. Okay. I'll go check it out. Thank you so much for your help. Uh, and, uh, if, I, if I have found any acorns laying around, like, I would, would like it, to... Wait, wait, before you go. Too. And he runs back into the, uh, in the tree and then comes out with an acorn and says... I don't have much, but please take this in my in thanks. Oh, you're so welcome, and 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 really, just your help has meant so much. It's like she just kind of starts tearing up. <laughs> well, now don't you start crying. I'm gonna start crying. <laughs> so you guys just you two. <laughs> Oi, Valen, this is really starting to stink, and it'd be nice if we could leave you now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> so yeah i guess we'll go back to the druid grove mm -hmm. with the thing and uh ask to see very right away because maybe oh, sure. he knows something yeah. uh sure yeah so i i think you, you you head on back uh over there and uh um you know you bring it to bear and he's just like whoa that is that's an ankeg claw yeah, but it's not, it wasn't like any, there was something wrong with it. Like it was, like it had these, it was just dripping in acid and like it just looked sickly and kind of twisted and like it that, didn't look right. No. Smelly green goo is what I remember. Well, you know, ankegs are like, they got like this acid slime and stuff. That's what they usually do, but like. I get the feeling like looking at this, you can see like the modeling is off. It's almost like spoiled fruit or something like that's like, and the thing is like, I mean, I'm sure Valen touch like Ankegs don't live around here. Like how did, how did it end up in the park? Well, that's what we don't know. Um, there was a, um, a little friend of mine told me that, um, that, 
something about over over by the wall but in the park that there was something. Who was your friend? Was it Chip? It yeah. yeah. Oh, I love that guy. <laughs> it has been forever since I was over there. You know, I don't get around as much these days. But anyway, before you go, uh, if you could... If you could check the wall just to see if you find any any like uh, like any further thing, that would be that would be great. But you y'all did a great job, so like you know, stash yeah. privileges granted, like right. Uh, but like before y'all go, could you give me like your time and your energy for just a moment, and we can maybe try and figure out like what this thing's deal was. I mean, if I can help, I've got only a little bit of energy left thanks to this little one. All right. Well, so, like, here, we're going to just sit this in the circle. And he sets the claw down. It's like, all right, everyone, like, hold hands. Yeah. yeah. And as you're all holding hands, and he just goes, holding hands is not actually necessary, but I kind of, it's just nice. Uh, so, and then he starts casting, like, uh, like, um, you know, uh, a spell that is, you know, some fancy druid spell. Um, and uh, he, you're all sort of feeling a little bit like the shared vision that he's being granted uh, about this thing. And what you get a sense of feels a little bit familiar that this is the result of someone who has been experimenting with a strange kind of magic where energies from another plane are being channeled into creatures from the material plane in, in a strange, unfamiliar way. This is not traditional magic. And, uh, and it caused this sort of nightmarish con corruption. Who would do such a thing? Well, that necro necromancer, for one, something similar, falls on understand magic, which isn't very far. Hmm. Well, you know what? I bet that whoever did this has got to have a workshop set up not too far. I uh, sent some more work to be done once the rest is good. Uh, yes, absolutely. And I will go ahead and reveal at this time that I prepped a second half of this that I, we're not going to have time to do, which might have been <laughs> looking for that workshop. But I think right. instead we can perhaps save that for uh, if we do another one of these um, sometime, you know, in, in the future. Uh, but perhaps even though we're not quite at 10, maybe this is a good time to go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, good job, everyone. You fought a, a big old mean nightmare ant keg. And, uh, and uh, we will be back uh, next week, but probably still not continuing our, our, our main campaign because um, everyone's taking turns not being available. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps, although Vec will not be able to uh, uh, join next week, uh, perhaps we uh, quirk. We'll be back, and we can continue this adventure. Vic is off quietly convalescing. All right. So uh, thank you, everybody, for listening and or watching, and we'll be back next week for more adventure on so many levels. So many levels. So many levels. So many levels.